Hello and welcome to the Launching Global Champions Tour here in Rome. Leg 15 of the championship and it's ever so, ever so close between uh, those big leading names. All in there and Ben Mayer leads the group once again. Coming into this one, well, Frederick de Backer alongside me, he could win it here. If he wins the Grand Prix, he wins the championship. But first of all, he needs to qualify, get into the jump off, and then win the jump off, and that's not easy in Rome. Now, the person that's hovering in second place is a man who's previously won the Grand Prix here. He won the championship here last year, Harry Smolders. And he is, he's focused. He gave Emerald a small jump yesterday. He says he's feeling really well, really relaxed, really focused. He knows the importance of the stage in Rome. It's, it's traditionally been a, a deciding stage, so he knows that this is his moment. His moment and his only moment to step up and maybe win the championship or overtake Ben Meer. This, as you say, penultimate stage of the championship. This is the one where you can win it or you could lose it, whichever way it's going for you. But take in there in third place, the one the crowd's are going to be cheering for, Alberto Zorzi, already booked his place into the Longines Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix. The Italian here will want this one badly. If you see throughout the entire week already, um, Alberto Zorzi is never alone. There's always people around him. There's always people asking for autographs, for pictures, for selfies. It's a, it's a very busy week for him. And then you wonder, um, is that the perfect circumstance for an athlete to prepare to win the Grand Prix here? Is there too much pressure? Is there too much attention? Can he focus on what it's all about, about clearing the fences and, and going fast and winning the Grand Prix? Who else in the field do you think could really sort of break the party here? Well, there's a few names that come to mind. Um, Daniel Deusser and Tobago Z, their record shows that they're producing clear rounds uh, again and again and again. So, and this is an arena uh, for Tobago. But what I saw yesterday, from Pedro Fredriksson and Hansen WL um, was, and I'm, I'm looking for the right word, but it's mind-blowing. The display yesterday was phenomenal. I've never seen something like that before. So easy, so smooth, so relaxed, jumping over such a difficult track. And my pick of the weekend, my big favorite, is Peter Fredrickson. Okay, so potentially Daniel Deusser could be a star striker. We'll see if he can score. Peter Fredrickson, though, is looking in a different class than the rest of them at the moment. Hansen WL has not had a pole yet in the team competition either. It's been clear all the way through. He's another one already booked in, because remember, there is that place here for that Longines Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix. Who's here that isn't in that you would like to see in? Ooh, oh, that's a tricky question. It is Lorenzo De Luca. Lorenzo De Luca. Halifax van Kluisbos, very well possible. So, it would be a crowd favourite if the Italian could book his place into that Longy Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix. Could Ben Mayer win the championship? Only one way to find out. Join us for all the action here on the Longy Global Champions Tour in Rome.